What is Intelligent Speed Assistance, also known as ISA? I'm Autovista 24 Depth Editor Tom Gegas, here with your handy What is definition. ISA is a safety system designed to help prevent speeding. But how does it do this? Well, the technology can rely on multiple sources of information. The first is a GPS system with speed limits digitally allocated to roads. The second is a forward-facing camera which identifies upcoming speed signs. There is also the potential for a third data source, namely other road users. As ISA equipped models spot signs and recognize limits, they can upload this information to a shared cloud, alerting other connected vehicles. Equipped with local data, an ISA system will try to prevent speeding, and there are a number of ways it can achieve this. First, there is informative feedback. Drivers can be alerted via a visual, audio, or haptic signal if the current limit is exceeded. The second is supportive or warning feedback. Here, the intelligent speed assistance system can increase the upward pressure against the accelerator pedal, pushing against the driver's foot, letting them know that they are going too fast. However, it will be possible for a person to override the system by pushing the accelerator down harder. And thirdly, there is an intervening or mandatory system. This ISA lowers speeds by reducing fuel injection or by requiring a kick down from the driver. It is important to note that at no point does an ISA take control of the brakes. The driver remains responsible at all times. They can always manually override the technology or turn it off completely if they want. Now the primary objective of ISA is to boost road safety. According to figures published by the European Commission in 2018, breaking the speed limits is very common. Typically up to half of drivers go over the limit and 10 to 20% do so by more than 10 kilometers an hour. Plus, drivers adapt their speed insufficiently to local and temporary conditions like traffic and weather. Now the results are apparent. Speed is considered a major factor in some 10% of all global collisions and 30% of all fatal collisions. But reducing average speeds by only one kilometer an hour can result in a 5% reduction in fatal crashes. So the technology to help prevent speeding does exist, as well as the necessity to do so. Now, with the EU's General Vehicle Safety Regulation 2019 forward slash 2144, legislation is in place to enforce its application. As of July this year, this regulation made intelligent speed assistance mandatory for new vehicles introduced onto the market. Then, from July 2024, ISA will become compulsory for all new cars sold. This means vehicles already registered will not be affected. The regulation outlines four essential driver feedback options to car makers. This includes an acoustic warning, a vibration warning, haptic feedback through the accelerator pedal, or an automatic speed control function. Now, besides increasing road safety, ISA holds other benefits. This includes improving air quality through more uniform road speeds and advancing the mobility solutions on offer in Europe. But there are also some concerns about this system. If an intelligent speed assistance system is solely dependent on a camera, for example, the capabilities of this unit will come to define how a user interacts with ISA. Now let's say the camera begins spotting speed limit signs on slip roads or on the back of trucks and adjusts the speeds in error. This inconvenience may put a user off, leading them to turn off the system by default, making the technology's installation somewhat needless. Now on the other hand, if an ISA can be updated via over-the-air updates, making it more capable over time, users might return to the technology, regarding it as more beneficial. Now perhaps you're wondering what an over-the-air update is. Well, AutoVista 24 covered this automotive definition as well as many others in our What Is video series. You can check them out by following the link in the description below. Or perhaps there is another automotive term you would like us to define. Well, then you can go ahead and leave us a message in the comments. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe and hit the bell button. 
Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.